Question number three. We have lead sulfide reacting with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide and lead oxide. Sulfur is in group six, therefore its charge is minus two. That makes our lead PB a plus two. Oxygen is uncombined, zero. And over on the right hand side, in the products, we have minus two. Two oxygens makes minus four. And again, we have a minus two over here. Our lead in lead oxide must still be a plus two. Therefore, we can comfortably say our spectator ion is PB2 plus. And sulfur has now changed to plus four as it has to balance and cancel out the minus four. Right, stage two. Let's draw our redox arrows. Sulfur has gone from minus two to plus four, which is a loss of electrons. So oxidation, or it has been oxidized. And there's a difference of six electrons. So each sulfur has lost six electrons. If we have a look at oxygen, and oxygen, you're probably picking up a pattern right now, which is that oxygen is very similar. We've actually gained two electrons, which is reduction. So it has been reduced. And in brackets, each oxygen has gained two electrons. Let's skip ahead to our half equations, now that we've identified what is happening. If we start with sulphur, we have two sulphurs all together, and each one has a charge of two minus. On the other side, we have two sulphur species again, but this time the charge is four plus. And in this example, I am actually going to write on this side, we have subtracted six electrons per sulphur. There are two sulphurs, so all in, it's actually 12 electrons being removed. And a quick reminder, we can also rewrite this if we wanted to in a different way. We could actually write 2s2 minus, 2s4 plus, and we can actually take the 12 electrons and add them to the other side. So these are two different ways of writing the same equation. Next, we have oxygen. Three oxygens. And notice it's a minus two oxide ions on the other side. O2 minus, and if we count how many we have on the right hand side, it should equal the number on the left. 2 times 2 gives us 4, plus 2 more, 6 O2 minus. And in this example, we've already mentioned that each oxygen gains 2 electrons. There are 6 oxi oxide ions, so 12 electrons are added. That completes our two half equations. And the last step is the combining of the two. So when we combine these, again, we can cancel out the electrons. And I'm going to focus on these two. Our overall ionic equation will form two S two minus plus three oxygen. We've removed our electrons and then two S four plus plus six O two minus, and that is our complete ionic equation.